good morning. Anyways, it's the next morning, next adventure, and I'm making the cord process up with the bubbles. Anyways, I just got the cap on there so that it would keep airing out. But as this old hillbilly is unconventional, um, I am going to mix uh, my water part for my lye solution to make my lye solution with, I'm going to put six ounces of the bubbles in there and I'm not going to put it in here because as you know it's going to heat up and volcano. You can, you know, just make sure that the uh, champagne is, you know, settled down for a couple of days, keep it out in the air, whatever, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am going to do the heat transfer. So there's my butters and um, hard oils in here. And I'm going to take my bubbles, my champagne, and I will add it to this. And get the lye solution, and I'll put that in there, and then, you know, do that thing. Put my liquid oils in there, so it's not a problem. Most of the time, I think, if you add, uh, let's say, beer, wine, champagne, or whatever, you got to kind of tweak it a little bit so that it's not going to be too dry and too this good. So, by doing it this way, I am getting, uh, if you will, on the label because it's in there and it just makes it a little bit easier when you're in a hurry or whatever and you want to add your uh, uh, your beer, your wine, your champagne, whatever. I haven't tried any moonshine or anything. I don't know. I think I'll be pushing it. Maybe you could add just a little bit just for the label, but I don't think I'm going to go that far. This soapy adventure is about champagne. So, let me get geared up and we will get going. And you know, it's early, early in the morning before the doors are open. And what did this scatterbrain do? She forgot her eyeballs at home. So, good thing I don't live that far from home. So, after I get this uh, made up, then I will rush and go get my eyeballs and then open up the store. So, anyway, yeah. I'm just not a morning person, but you have to be. So let's get to this. 